Hello and welcome back to episode nine of Team Yap, the Pokemon podcast. I am your co-host, Emily Brewer, and I am joined by Chris Levelet. And we're here for Yap Sesh. Um, very excited. We back to the yap, a regular yap. Back to our regularly scheduled yapping. Last time we had a good movie review episode. Mm-hmm. Got to look back at an uh, old favorite of mine that has. I mean, I still love it, but yeah. objectively, it's diminished for me a little bit. Unfortunately, it has not held up as much with time as some of the other Pokemon movies have. Yeah. Um, but it was fun to watch. I mean, especially like. The first movie, it's one of those things where it's like, I remember the first movie. I've seen it so many times. It's mm-hmm. so memorable. I know exactly what happens. I mean, even now, I remember more of the first movie than Pokemon 2000. And I mean, watched it two <laughs> weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. <laughs> so that's saying something. But it was cool to watch a movie that I didn't remember much of. Mm-hmm. Um, but it definitely, definitely had some flaws. But, yeah. you know, I think next... We'll move right down the line and do number three, which is my favorite Pokemon movie. Yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to this one because this one I also don't remember mm. much beyond Entei and mm-hmm. the little girl. And there's unknown. Yeah. And there's crystalline structures at mm-hmm. some point, And that's about all I've, I've got. And I'm a little nervous because if the same thing happens to me, what happened to you with... Number two, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm calling it. It's not going to happen. Your favorite. It's going to hold up. It's going to be great. It's going to stand the test of time. I do feel like I've watched it semi recently, like not like in the past like couple months or anything, but in the past couple years, maybe mm. um, like maybe when I was still in college or something like that, I might have tuned into it. But um, and I f- feel like it held up, but I'm going to hold out hope <laughs> that it does because I'm going to be sad otherwise. But we actually, we still have quite a few, I mean, there's a lot of Pokemon movies, but in terms oh, of like yeah. Pokemon movies that like I would like to watch and do a review episode yeah, on. Like, I'm, I, I was never looking to go through the whole yeah. list of them doing movie reviews, but definitely going through the favorites, like yep. would definitely want to, um, what, cause what I like it, the Lucario the one. Movie? I don't even remember what the third movie is called. I don't either. It, no clue. It, something unknown. I know unknown is in the Spell title. of the unknown, maybe? Spell- I feel like that's right. Mm -hmm. At least I've definitely heard that. And if it's not like one of this movie's 17 subtitles, that's how all the Pokemon (laughs) movies work. Um, And it's not like Chris or I don't have our phones right next to us. We could look it up. No, not at all. We're not going to do that. (laughs) Some things it's worth the energy. Yes. The second. No. No. Um, Especially when you're trying to hunt down, like, which is the one subtitle out of all of these that I oh remember it being for this Pokemon yeah. movie. And actually, no, they're all correct. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, Lucario Mystery of Mew for sure. Yep. Uh, the Celebi one. The Celebi, the Celebi one. I want to watch Destiny Deoxys. Ooh, that okay. was a big one for me. Yep. I loved the whole, like, getting trapped in that futuristic city kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like I, to watch the Dark Rye one. Because the Dark Rye one came out right around the time. A Dark Rye? F- no. I, I, for some reason, I'm thinking it was called Dark Rye Forever. That's not it. I don't know. But like that one. Came, so my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Pearl. And so anything Sinnoh is very nostalgic for me. The Rise of Dark Rye. There yep. we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's funny. So my first Pokemon game wasn't Pearl, but my first like modern Pokemon game as like the DS had been out for a bit and all Mm -hmm. that, that was Pokemon Pearl. Like my first really coming back into Pokemon. And I kind of say it like that because it's like, I was, I mean, still a kid and just, I was kind of just behind everyone else for a while. Yep. Was pretty much it. I had my Pokemon red that I got from my older brother. And then I had gotten fire red and leaf green at some point later on at a Walmart and then that was kind of it for mm-hmm. a while for me. Like, yep. I'm pretty sure uh, fourth gen had actually been out for a little bit still when I got Pearl. But I, I distinctly remember that, like, that Christmas getting a DS Lite and Pokemon Pearl all right in one and just immediately running, o- running off to my room to play. That's awesome. I remember for me, so I had a DS. And then I just, I have a memory of, like, going to the store and buying Pokemon Pearl and then, like, playing it in the car, like immediately. Um, And then what I did after that was I backtracked and I 
got Pokemon Leaf Green and Pokemon Sapphire. Mm -hmm. Never played Emerald, which is a sore spot for me. Um, yep. because <laughs> wish you would have hit that one. Yeah. And you know, I see like at like, you know, game stores, they'll sell them for like hundred bucks. Oh yeah. It, they're, they go for a lot of money. Well, I mean, I'm sure you'd have to get the game boy too. I do. I still have, at least I have my DS light that I could still play oh, it okay, on, yeah. but the DS light, my DS light is like very broken. Aged. <laughs> it is like the original DS that I had when I got, when I was like seven. Aged and, and not like wine. Yes, exactly. Um, and it's been broken for a long time. Like it's playable, but the screen doesn't have the like clicky things. So you can keep it at a certain oh, yeah. so it stance. Just it just goes, it flops back. I had um, a and then the bottom screen um, like jitters, like the, like it like kind of flashes. <laughs> Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Um, I had a Game Boy Advance SP, the flip one, mm -hmm. just the silver one. Yep. I had that for the longest time as a kid. But all it took was one one game that got little kid me a little bit too mad. That Throw game, it? That Game Boy got thrown. And then the, <laughs> uh, it functioned still yeah. for years. That's funny. But it was a thing of like I had to be very careful, and if I wasn't i can literally just remove it from the body of it and it's just connected by ribbons and wires oh wow yeah <laughs> i definitely like have thrown some of my electronics in the past <laughs> um but i don't think i don't know we uh, so i somewhere at one of my parents houses is probably my game boys and i say I had two Game Boy Advances that were the exact same, exact color, same color, the light blue. And it was because my dad wanted one. <laughs> um, so <laughs> he got one too. And so That's we both had two light blue Game Boy Advances. And he had like a poker game, a fishing game, a hunting game, you know, like. Um, but those have got to be floating around somewhere. So I'm sure I could find one. And you can probably buy one for cheap ish probably not like cheap but i mean like if you went somewhere like a secondhand store you found one that was a little dinged up yeah but still playable like that wouldn't be too bad yeah so maybe one of these days but the fact that i can still do it on my pokemon or my ds light is yeah. a plus um and so, yeah, I don't know. I, I do. Well, I'll go through phases where I'm like, I want to play my old games and then I'll pop them in. And I'll be like, it doesn't hit the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I, I feel you. Because like black and white, I've tried to go back and play those games. And after uh, playing X and Y and I mean, no, not to say any like the black and white games are still some of my favorite Pokemon mm -hmm. games. It just it can be hard because I'm so used to the 3D models and wanting these nice um, uh, and the health bars. Mm. I can't, like, I just cannot do going back to health bars pre X and Y because they're, they're so slow. Mm -hmm. they take forever to go mm -hmm. down. Like, it's, oh. Interesting. I'm going to have to load up one of my Game Boy games and, and check that out. I also have this thing where I'm like, I don't want to, like, save over my old save file. I want to keep that as, like, a relic. My thing was always my most recent previous pokemon game i keep the save file and then if there's ever anything i want to like transfer further ahead whatever like mm -hmm. that and i mean many times throughout the years that process has gotten broken so like i wasn't able to transfer at some point like there's been plenty of pokemon I'm all, i've lost over time sure um but mostly what i would try to do is like keep my previous game save file there that's my main file for that game and then i'll probably restart it later on after it's no longer uh, like the second most recent game. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Stuff like that. I'm too, I'm too like much of a digital hoarder to like be able to get rid of. Like, cause like I'll go on and be like, it's so funny. I used to call myself, I used to name myself Brandon for some reason. All my save files are Brandon. Well, Brand Brandon was the, the male protagonist for uh, the Hoenn games. So. Interesting. So I just change a letter up there and, you know, but now all my names for things are, are Ryan and it's just names that I like. And it's cause it's yeah. like, I don't want to see Emily, like Emily, you did this thing. I'm like, that's who I am. Like all every I'm day. Chris. Like, I don't want to be Chris. I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even though I now I do literally all the time name my characters, Chris. I mm -hmm. just, I just go that simple. I used to do. God, what was it? 
I mean, pretty much any other name other than Chris. Mm -hmm. There was a while it was it was it was Terran T E R R E N. I don't know where I even okay. got that, but I was just using that for a while. Fun. Um, yeah. It's just one. Of, yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like I see my name every day, and do I really want to like see it in a Pokemon game? Not really. But there are some. I do have some save files where my name is Emily, and it's Emily in all caps because <laughs> you know, like that's what it was, well, and you could change it to lowercase, but I didn't do that. My names were all caps back in the days of Pokemon Red, just because I didn't know where the lowercase button <laughs> was. <laughs> um, relatable. Like all my Pokemon nicknames, my character's name. So it's like every time they're talking to me, they're just shouting. They're my yelling name. at you. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Well, speaking of Pokemon games, I have some new Pokemon games that I have. Yeah, you've been uh, you've been gotten into diving into another one. Um, I'll start with Pokemon Snap because I don't have too much to say about that. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while because it's just like you know, it's Pokemon and. Pokemon are cute. Yeah. And, and, it's, I also, and it is a gorgeous looking game. It totally is. And I also like taking pictures like IRL. So I'm like, oh, this will be fun. Yeah. And it is fun, but it's definitely like I've only played maybe like an hour and it is already starting to get a little boring and repetitive for me. And it's mostly because, I mean, it's fun and I like seeing the Pokemon and I like trying to get them in the different spots and whatever. Mm. But then, like, having to have the professor go through, like, ha or having to pick a picture for each Pokemon and, like, deciding is hard for me because I'm like, well, there's there's more than one that's good here. Right, because you can only pick, like, the one that gets graded. And, yep. And yep. then having to sit through him grading them, it's like, bro, I don't care. Like, can I skip that? I could, like, just hit the A button, but I'm also like, I'm kind of curious, like, how well each thing did and yep. why. Um so that has been a little frustrating. I did change the voiceover language to Japanese <laughs> because oh. you you have an option to have it English or Japanese. I mean, the text is still English, mm. but you can make the like little like sound bites that what, they was say. Was the dub a little much for you? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard it at all, so I don't know. <laughs> not familiar. It was fine, but I'm like, you know, it'd probably be better in Japanese. <laughs> all right. Good to know. Because it's usually, it's just it. like, it's just like, yes, nice, good job. You know, like, and so it's like, to, and it's like, I'd rather, I don't know, I'd rather hear it in Japanese where I don't actually know what you're saying versus like. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Um, and so it's been fun. I need to be, I de it's definitely one of those games where I need to be in the right mood mm -hmm. to play it. And I think I will be occasionally, but I'm not going to sit, I'm not going to like be at work and be like, man, I can't wait to go home to play Pokemon Snap. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so that's how I feel about that. But it's been, it's fun. It's a fun, cute game. And like you said, it's a beautiful game and it's just fun to see Pokemon just like in their natural habitats. In yeah, just quotes. existing, yeah. living. And you're not like catch, catching them or yep. anything like that and battling them and fighting them to the death. Like you're just like, oh, I'm just taking a picture of them. Like, um, and there's like the a gimmick in it, which is like the Illumina Pokemon yeah. or something like that. I've only seen one because uh, I haven't played that much, but I'll be curious to see how that kind of evolves over the course of the game. But, um, of course, now that I'm talking about it, I'm like, I want to go home and play Pokemon <laughs> Snap because <laughs> it's been a couple of days. Mindset. Yes, I am. Um, and it is one of those ones where it's like you could probably like put like a podcast on or something. And oh, yeah, play I'm sure it, I'm sure it's great for like if if you were just like if you felt like you could sink into the game, but you need something to de-stress you. Yeah, I feel like that would be the thing. To yeah, do. exactly. So I do recommend that to you if you are feeling in a little bit of a Pokemon funk and you want something new to try it is in the name it is in the name it is <laughs> new pokemon snap new pokemon snap which is hilarious to me i didn't play old pokemon snap the original i did not play that what what device was that on nintendo 64 well that's why i didn't play it <laughs> um old. yeah old. i don't know if i've ever even seen any footage from that honestly i should look that up on youtube I almost want to play it because I, I can because I, I have the um Nintendo Switch online expansion pack thing. So I have oh. Nintendo 64 and they have Snap on that. Cool. So that'd be I dope. Did. Dude, you should download that and then we can compare notes. <laughs> stay tuned. Uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned. Um, so that's Pokemon Snap. 
Um, I do wish that these, I mean, it's just in general, Nintendo games have always been $60. I do wish it was not $60. At least certainly the current stuff has just yeah. not gone down. Yeah. So. Um, Apart from like, you know, Mario stuff, usually Christmas time or Mario Day. Sh- it's that's, on sale or whatever. Yeah. And that's yeah. about it. Well, how about Pokemon Day? Come on, man. Sure, like, Super Mario Odyssey is still $60, I think. Okay, I, I could be wrong. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. If I'm saying that on the internet, I'd like to double check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm kind of bored with some of the stuff I've been playing. I would like to try something else. And then um, all I did was I searched Pokemon on the Nintendo eShop, and, and that is how I downloaded Pokemon Unite. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's free. <laughs> so why not? I'm sure this will be no no stress, no fuss, nothing. <laughs> and so I did download it partially because it was free and partially because I had been seeing people playing it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, you know what? I, I had had some, of, I had had a little bit of a holdup because I'm like, I don't know how to play it. Like there is, there is a macro to it. There's a, there's a way to play it. And I was nervous about that because I definitely have like (laughs) trauma from League of Legends. (laughs) Um, And so finally I was just like, fuck it, I'll, I'll just try it. So I did the tutorial and then I was doing the, you know, I did a couple of games, some normal games. And it was fun, like, because you do Pikachu in the tutorial, I was like, let me just stick with Pikachu. I've been playing him. I know what to do. Like, yeah, whatever. No, I think they let you select one for free, so. Yeah, and so I stuck with that. And then <sighs> one thing that I really liked about, at least right now in this season, I don't know if that's what they call it, seasons, um, is the solo challenge um, with Cynthia, Ryan, oh, Yeah, and I never actually did that much, but... I don't know what the other chick's name is, but... Um, because it's just you're playing against computers. It's like souped up bots, yeah. Yeah, and... But you're working towards... There are challenges that you get coins, and you're working towards, like, prizes. And one of the prizes is a Cynthia outfit, and I was like, uh, I want the Cynthia outfit. That's what you were talking about. Gotcha. Yes, yes. And I did get it, because I was playing it a lot, and... And I like the idea of not playing with real people, um, but also you mean like playing against them? Yeah, yeah. No, and I get you. Um, competitive games stress me out. Yeah, for sure. It's me too. Um, you can also get uh, limited licenses the more you go yep. through. So I'm like, I might as well. Except I haven't used any of my limited licenses because I'm like, I don't want to like use this up. And well, that's also my thing. It's like, like a, yeah, it's like I gotta waste two days, right? So it's like, oh great! I have a seven day pass for this Pokemon. I'm gonna play tonight, and then not again. That's probably it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, no. I, and then I, you know, I did spend money on the game pretty immediately because <laughs> I'm like, I want a skin, but also there's like a beginner like discount on it or whatever. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll fell into that trap. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll, (laughs) I'll spend $20. I mean, considering like how much money I spent on Pokemon snap or how much money I spent on Pokemon go every Mm. month, (laughs) like fuck it, I'll do it. Um, and I ended up buying a Pikachu skin, which I kind of regret because I haven't played Pikachu since, (laughs) (laughs) but, um, I also, I liked the idea of some of Pikachu's moves, like the sure hits and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I... Football is very fun. Mm-hmm. So what I did was I kind of looked through... There's also There was a coupon that made it so that um, all of the licenses were half off of the gems mm. um, for your first license purchase. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to look through... And I'm going to pick one that has like a similar move set. So I picked um, Mewtwo Y. And so I've been playing Mewtwo Y mostly hmm. um, because I enjoy the the sure hit move. Both of the 
either Future Sight or Psy Strike are both sure hits. Yeah, I haven't played any Mewtwo Y. I don't know how it works. Mm-hmm. And then there's another, there's like a dash, but I never take the dash and I take uh, Recover. So it's like a healing thing. So I'm like, yeah, give me that. That is like, <laughs> that's what I need. Because <laughs> um, I find it hard to aim things with the Switch controller. It can be rough, especially when you're, like, trying to move at the same time mm-hmm. in this game. And so, like, you you want to be moving and pointing in the same direction or not. You want to be walking the hell away and targeting right behind you. And yeah. it, it can be a pain, especially with the Switch controller. How a lot of my problems early on with Pokemon Unite was how I would go, I would flick. And then when I would let go of the stick before it would launch my move, it mm-hmm. would flick the targeter right back behind me oh. and then launch my move. Yeah. So, like... I would be playing my Mammoth Swine, go in for an Ice Fang on somebody, and for some reason I, like, try an Ice Fang behind me. Mm-hmm. That's so frustrating. Yeah. I, um, so remind me, do you usually play with friends? If I were, if I do play, I do play with, with friends usually. Gotcha. And do you queue as, because I remember you saying, like, you can only queue, you can queue as five, or you can queue as... Three or lower. Three or lower. You cannot queue as four. Interesting. So how many people do you usually queue with? Um... Let's see, the most recent time, it was, like, grand total, we had a group of five. Nice. I mean, we were just running through casual because sure. uh, we didn't, like, the disparity in our ranking and all that oh. was such that we couldn't do. Because if you have somebody who's, I think, if they're lower than two ranks below you, I think you can't play with them in rank. That makes sense. Yes. Well, I, I, I absolutely, because, like, matchmaking and all that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So what rank are you in ranked? Expert. Two is what Damn. I stayed at. Now what? Because I was, I think, a little bit higher previously. Like when I when I initially got to this rank, yeah. I had no idea. That was a long while ago. Um, I don't remember what max I got to, but I know I've dropped. But I haven't dropped since. So what's I don't know. the top rank? Platinum. Are you th- is expert plat- close to or, platinum? Well, not platinum. I don't, I don't know. Uh, expert. Because it goes, I think, Expert, Master, Legendary. Okay, interesting. So. I know it goes Expert to Master. What's below Expert? Ultra. Okay. I think. Or is it great? I have no idea. I think I'm in great right now. And so I think Ultra's next. And I. Here's something that I don't like about Pokemon Unite Ranked. Yeah. You get put in bot matches. Yep. That is fucking weird. That is super, super weird. And coming from being like a league player, which that is like not a thing ever. And it's great too because you can get bots on your team. Mm -hmm. uh, And bots, like it's not always obvious that it's a bot until Mm -hmm. you're playing because they just like use player names. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Super, super, super weird and unnerving. (laughs) I'll be honest with you. I think it's mainly just like due to your matchmaking it's just yeah there aren't the there isn't the player base or at yep. the time of the matchmaking whatever it's it's jordan did some research on it because i'm like dude look this up i'm like i'm tired of this like what's going on, here? on yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's he saw that and it was like also if you like have been losing a lot like they might put you in a bot match like but it's like bro like i'm playing ranked for a reason like put me with people <laughs> like it's just it's a very interesting unique mechanic yeah. to that game because like with league of legends like if you're queuing for ranked, you might be in the queue you're for in that queue. you might be in the queue for a long time, depending on where you are yeah, and how many this, like, people are playing. If you're in the queue for like a minute plus, if they yeah. just shove you in with bots, it's crazy. Whether they're on your team, so or, interesting. But which is fine because usually when it is a bot match, you're gonna win. Oh yeah, you're gonna like, steamroll them. <laughs> so so I, like it's okay, but it's just a fascinating kind of mechanic that like took some getting used to. Yeah, um, I will say. I have not played in the last couple of days because what happened to me was I was like, I'm playing Pokemon Unite and I'm like, this reminds me so much of League of Legends. I want to play League of Legends. Oh, no. (laughs) So. so, That's a dangerous backslide. uh, Yes. Well, so it's so interesting because like I, uh, again, League of of Legends trauma for many reasons. But what I've been doing is playing ARAM. So. I, I will not queue for a normal game because there's just so much like. What's ARAM? 
So it's all random, all mid. Uh. So it's like the one lane, and there's 5v5, and then it's basically just like... Oh, so it's just a fight fest in the center. Yes, cool. exactly. That's um, cool. And so I like that. That's fun. Because there's no macro to that, really. Whereas in the actual, like, Summoner's Rift, like... 5v5 game yeah, where you're, your queuing you is top, top or mid. mid. Yes, exactly. It's like, who's going through the jungle? Come on down. We can get down here. We need help. Yep. And, and nobody and, wants to gather down bottom. Exactly. And, and yeah. And like, okay, now like, I, I don't know how to slow push creeps. I don't know how to freeze them. I don't know how to do like, you know, there's, there's, there's levels to it that I just mm-hmm. never learned. And the League of Legends community is like one of the most toxic game communities ever and if you're watching this you probably already know that but it gives me so much anxiety like I literally have even for ARAM I have chat turned off I have I have team chat turned off you have like I don't want to hear from you I'm playing this for fun (laughs) so like even in like like in an actual game people are like way worse Mm -hmm. and it's just like I don't like (laughs) <laughs> my mental health does not need that right now. Absolutely. But I enjoy like the idea of like, okay, let's pick a random person and then like, let's just use all of their moves. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been doing. And it's because it's a computer game, it's easier to aim your, oh, yeah, your abilities. Yeah, exactly. And so um, I see why I've been in, on a little bit of a league kick after playing Unite because it's the same thing essentially, mm-hmm. but it's just it's easier to like use your abilities on the computer. It took some getting used to, like with the the keyboard, using like pressing the things on the keyboard. You can play Unite on the computer, can't you, or can you not? I uh, I you don't should think, look that up. Oh, you can, you can play it on the phone. You can play it on the phone. A lot of people I've seen on TikTok are playing it on the phone, and I don't know how the fuck people do that. Do you play it on the phone? Uh, no, I could never. That I, I think that is much. way. It's too much for me to be able to pay attention to like all of my buttons would take up the majority of my screen mm-hmm. I, I could never mm-hmm. like props to you if you can I yeah I don't even want to download it to try because I'm like I see it I see the UI on the lives and I'm like bro why why are you even bothering with that <laughs> like I'd be covering like half my screen trying to tap my buttons like yep I'm good mm-hmm. so um I've been enjoying it um again I get nervous it can be very good fun yeah, I, I think it would be better if I was playing with people and like like with friends, which Chris is Chris is volunteering. <laughs> um, so we'll have to set that up at some point because it's just like, again, it's 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 a good thing that there is. I mean, I guess there is a chat feature, but like I don't like have. Yeah, it I mean, on really. Well, because I know there's an in-game text chat and I think voice chat mm-hmm. is just like Nintendo's voice chat. So it's like oh. through their mobile app thing oh interesting okay i think i've never yeah. actually used it never intend to yeah no no way so i it it makes me less nervous about like people getting mad because people can get mad and i'll have no idea <laughs> like you know yep. uh and let's keep it that way exactly um so it is an interesting game and i i uh i don't know i haven't played around with it too much it's interesting because usually usually i'm more apt to like play a like with league play a character that is like a defender or like a has more health Mm. but with pokemon i've been leaning more towards like attackers and like just like lower health i mean it's really fun to just melt somebody yeah totally it's really fun to just and somebody when Decidueye first came out and I was playing a lot of Decidueye mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was so much fun to just be standing so far away from the battle and then eh, poke you're almost dead <laughs> I um they're giving Decidueye away now for free oh really yep cool um so I have that I have not played him but one that I have played because it was on the free rotation or whatever was um Gyarados Ooh, that Gyarados is super fun, fun yeah. but like being a Magikarp for however long is you got you crazy. have to get those kills. Yeah, you have to farm up, and you like that's what like early game is my least favorite part of Pokemon Unite as a whole, honestly. Mm-hmm. And that might just be because of the characters that I play, because like I play um, Mamoswine has just been my main ever mm-hmm. since it came out, and Swinub it it's so painful to play <laughs> Swinub. Oh my god, if you don't have a good 
lane partner yeah. that is like taking care of you pretty much because mm-hmm. they have to because I'm so horribly vulnerable and slow and I do hardly anything for damage mm-hmm. and the damage I do do is very slow as well. Yeah, It's like, I, I help. I, help so me. is it the same thing with uh, Mammoth Swine as it is with Gyarados where you have to get kills to level up or is no, it a different just, stacking? It's, le- it's leveling. Leveling, okay. It's just the regular leveling whereas Magikarp has his like meter. Gotcha. Like Magikarp is the only one that does that. Okay, interesting. Yeah. I did see on Reddit because I joined the Pokemon Unite Reddit just to be like, gain a little bit more insight yeah. into what people are thinking about the game. Like somebody was like, how do I help you as a lane partner, as a Magikarp, so that there isn't a Magikarp flopping around at, <laughs> at you know, seven minutes or something like that. Yeah. Um, which I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like I didn't even think of that. Cause when I had been playing Magikarp, it was in bot game, like solo, right? Like, like solo challenge. And so, Obviously, I'm getting kills because it's computers. <laughs> like, um, so I didn't realize that that was how you we were leveling up. I thought it was oh, just it, levels. It's also like the farm. You, you, Interesting. Magikarp needs the farm. If there's a Magikarp on the team, Magikarp gets the farm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. I forget. I know there's a little bit more to it than just that. I think it's sure. Or I think it's Magikarp needs to get hits on stuff that dies. Is kind of how I, I'm. I forget. Exa- I never. I, I haven't actually played the character myself. I want to, though. He does seem fun. I have played a little bit of Gyarados. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, um, I wish... I think when you first start, you can play, like, whatever. And then I didn't take advantage of that. <laughs> I just kept playing Pikachu. Because <laughs> my like, oh, I don't want to play anything else. Like, and now I'm like, fuck, I should have done that. Like, to play around with who I wanted to be. It's like 30 different stuff. characters in the game. Why would I want to play another one? Yes. Well, it's just like, you know... I was like, this one's so good. Like, um, but so there is like a free rotation. Yes. Okay. There is a free rotation. And I think we, it might not be all weekends, but I know some weekends, like everything is available. Oh, cool. Interesting. All right. That's good to know. Yeah. I should tune back in and play a little bit more just to stay up on that. But I mean, we'll, we'll have to get a a, a team yap game going. Yes, (laughs) that is true. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder how we could do that. Like, bring some one of us bring our Switch in, or both of us bring our Switch in, and, like, have it connect to... Would have to connect to the internet. Connect to the internet. Would have to, to play. Yeah. Well, we could do that. But then I'm, like, wondering, like, how do we... Like, we could connect it to, like... Oh, are you saying you want to, like, do it for an episode? Yeah. Dude, that would be cool. Something to think about. Um, We definitely have the technology and the people here that can make that work. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and if not the stuff here, I'm sure, like, personally, or if anything, hell, like, a, a streaming thing or a capture card, whatever, whatever, I wouldn't even mind buying into that. So, like, we'll think, figure something things, out. Things to think about. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. That'd be fun. That'd be interesting, too, because if we could have a setup like that, like, showcasing, just, we would, that... If we did that, Dude, we would we have could to play. have an episode of, like, showcasing our games. Oh, my God. That would be—we should actually, like, think about that because that would make it a little bit more dynamic. There was another I had. I mean, it, and this thing that I'm thinking of, it wouldn't have any bearing on, like, game capture or nothing like that. It would be more something that I come back to the app and update on. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking for, like, this October, I want to actually jump into a Nuzlocke for something. Ooh. I don't know if I'm going to do Sword and Shield or if I want to do Scarlet Violet. But I think I want to do like a like a type locked challenge. Like, I'm thinking ghost dark and poison because yo it's month Halloween. That would be awesome. I I'm gonna hold you to that now because right, I'm doing it. because I want to hear all about that. I don't know which one of the two games I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do one of them. Um, I need to finish Sword and Shield, and this is a good kind of segue into Pokemon Go. Mm. Um. Because we're going to be chatting about the new Dynamax Fancy things that features. we got, which is uh, all right at the moment. Yeah, all right is a good way Spoilers, to put it. <laughs> it's very okay. It's um, there now. It is there. It do be there. We have the Gen A starters. Yay. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we got Rillaboom. I, um, <laughs> I, you know, they're kind of cute. And they were there for a very short period of time. I was expecting them to be spawning Oh, they're still spawning. Oh, really? Yeah. Just not as much as not, they not were, really for much, sure. Yeah. Um, like I just saw I a Sobble on my way into work. Oh, okay. Interesting. I got good. I got a good score bunny, and I got a good Grookey 
did not get any good sobbles. And I think of I've course, gotten at least a three star of each. No, I haven't gotten a three star of a sobble, but of course that's the one that I chose for the the you know same. What do you call it? The the, the research. research yeah. And so I'm like, you have to evolve them in a drizzle, and I'm like, and you know what's great. My sobble that I evolved into Drizzile for that research uh -huh. was my, like, three-star one and yep. all that. And so I'm like, okay, cool. Now I have the candies to get an Inteleon. Wait, I had to evolve a Drizzile. Yep. Yep. Because I didn't get the next page of it until after I'd done all that evolving. So now I need more candies. I am. Um, and another Drizzile. on that? Wait, where the heck did that go? Where did it go? Oh, it must be this one. It just doesn't have the number anymore. Galler calling, yep. Interesting. I'm sorry, but like these, the Dynamax thing is just like kind of a pain in the ass. Like, yeah, until they put some Pokemon in there that are like worth it. Like I did, I did raid for all of them to make sure I got at least one of each. The fact that there is a cap on how many power, what do they call it? Power. Powers, just the power spots, or do you mean the max particles? Oh, the max particles. Yes, how I was many gonna... max particles you can get per day is so annoying and frustrating. I, it, it's aggravating because you're limited with how many you can get per day. You only have, <laughs> bruh. I, I, I just interrupted Chris and showed him that I got rank one on th in three po Ponyta sh uh, showcases. I'm gobsmacked. Um, <laughs> Because it's limited in how many that you can obtain per day. And it's, I saw a breakdown of the numbers. It's like limited in how you can obtain them. Because it's like, I've seen somebody break down like how many power spots they were able to collect from. And along with getting the, uh, the, 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 the particles collected from their stepping. Yep. Um, it like limited or, or. Like, you can get a certain amount within the day, but depending on how you did it, yes. there's a, like, you can't get them all. Yep. Like, actively cannot get them all, which is so stupid to me. Um, and then just limiting it at 1,000 MP that you can hold, I, which I know it ticks over if you collect yep. over that amount. But I, And for how much you have to use for both, like, the max particles on Pokemon and the candies of the Pokemon for the max moves, I, it's insane to me. I don't think it's balanced well, but... It's really frustrating, to be honest with you. And, I mean, maybe they'll change it eventually, probably. I would very much like that. Because um, I know they, like, in the past, they have made tweaks on things that they um, put in the game. But this is so new that, like, that's not going to change, I think, for a while. Yeah, no. But um, also, there is a... Look at the raid. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything about it. Why can't I click it's gonna on it? It's going to make me angry. <laughs> Dude. Not why okay. why are bronzors in one star raids right now? That's like <laughs> that's just insulting. Yep. It's just rude. Um, um so you know, I the gimmick will change and I think become a little bit more enticing as they release oh, like sure. actual like I, Gigantamax like and for Dynamax right now, exactly. on. For like, right now it's just these like five Pokemon mm -hmm. that are in it. And it's like, woohoo, Pokemon that I can get all the time. Yeah, exactly. But you can still get like rare candies from this. Mm -hmm. It's not as common as like raids. You can still get, um, it's a pretty decent amount of XP though. The XP was increased because of the event. So yeah, I don't know how like much on it is Galarian, uh, or on Ponyta community day, the whole event was still going on for the Dynamax stuff. Mm -hmm. So there was like, it would, you would get like 10,000 EXP for doing one of those. Mm -hmm. Um, now it's like I think a thousand. What? Yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. Like, I could be wrong, but I think it's like a thousand now. Um, Dude. So I think I did one just like yesterday. Uh, that is so not worth it. <laughs> um, 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 but you can still get like rare candies from this. I think there is. There was something else that I saw you can still get that I was jazzed about, but I forget now. Um, what I'm also jazzed about is the placing of well, the fact that there's a double the rewards button in the first place. That costs 200 coins, and the placement of it is so stupid because, like, if you're just tapping through, not paying much attention. And that is that is so intentional. And I don't know if there's a con confirmation on that button. I doubt it because— Oh, I doubt it, too. I have not tried it because it's stupid to exactly. double those rewards for I'm 200 not coins. I'm not risking my 200 coins for no. 
10 more Pokeballs to catch the Squirtle. No. I can see why, potentially, like, if they're going to put, like, Eternatus in there. Exactly, like, and that's why I'm like, these ones right now that are in there are so easy to do. Yeah. That's, It'd be so silly. That makes silly me to... think it's going to be so hard. That makes me think that the later things, when they bring in Eternatus, when they bring in, like, the dogs, that they're going to they're totally going to put Zashin and Zamazenta in these two. Ah, yeah. Hell, you know what? That's probably the only way you're going to get the shinies. Uh, oh, my God. I could be wrong. They might have actively said that could, they could have actively said they'll be in five star raids. But. And they might be in they the first who's the first one? I think it's Zacian. No, Zamazenta is the Zacian. first one. Zacian. It is. I think it is confirmed that it's going to be in raids. Okay, cool, good. Thank God. Um. Um. But man, fuck, fuck Niantic. <laughs> yeah, with this Screw them. <laughs> with this Dynamax thing, like right now, it's it's kind of cool. Check out the new gimmick, but really, just like. Wait until it actually becomes, Wait for, like, like the Gigantamax yeah. forms to come in, and we'll get a turn of this. So you kind of have to do some of these ones so that you can have Pokemon right. that you yes. can battle with. That would that would be the benefit, would be getting these ones so you keep getting better and better, like Dynamax Pokemon. Yeah. And so you can start working on them right now because you need so many gosh darn candies to both unlock the other two moves that they have and then level up those moves. I don't know what the max level is for those moves. Mm -hmm. All I know is it's 400 candy and uh, 400 um, max particles and 50 candy from a Pokemon just to unlock one of the other moves. It's crazy. And then to uh, get it to level two, it's like 600 particles and 100 candy. Some people were saying like, at least in the local Discord, that it's not worth doing anything, leveling up anything but max strike. Mm. At least right now. Which, I mean, that makes sense to me because I still have yet to have a reason to use. Right. I've not unlocked the the, the healing one and I have yet to have a reason to use the yeah. lock. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to. Seems interesting. Seeing how it changes. But I'm just like, it is, it is not looking good considering that they're trying to get you to pay 200 coins for 10 extra balls. Uh, for when they put and, actual and double of the rest of the rewards that you got as well, which is not always a rare candy. It's like you're always going to get Stardust and candy from the Pokemon. Yeah. Well, some of the rewards are like what golden berries. So, so oh yes, silver that was like ras- raspberry. I've seen. Yeah, yeah. So so I don't know. I um I don't know. I'm, I'm I think that it has the potential to be cool. Yes. They need to tweak the caps on how much MP you can get a day because I'll be like, I could do as many raids as I want in a day. Yep. If I'm spending money on raid passes, I could do as many, well, as many in person raids as I want a day. Of course, they capped remote raids because they hate money, apparently. <laughs> um, but I could realistically do as many in person raids as I wanted a day. Why can't I do as many Dynamax raids as I want in a day? Like, yeah, it's just silly. They'll change it, I'm sure, eventually. I think personally, how I would limit it is like, you know, can only collect max particles. I mean, I, I, I'm fine with the can only collect max particles from a a particular power spot once in a day. Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Like. So I say, like, double the cap. Make it so we don't have to uh, have, like, a daily limit on how much we can collect. So, like, keep the cap at, like, 2,000. And then, like, the cap of how much you can hold. Yeah. And then, again, no daily cap on collecting would be nice, especially because part of being able to collect them is just walking. Yeah. It's like, you should be encouraging. (laughs) That's true. Or, hell, you know what? Screw it, Niantic. Go full, like... uh, 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 fitness conscious be like hey if y'all want more max particles for the rest of your day walk for them be like hey oh, shit I'll do that at least there's a way to do it yeah yeah I don't know I hope they change that um, what was I going to say about that oh the just the fact that and I think they're going to have to change this as well how they're farming power spots mm-hmm. with their data just like businesses that have been registered on Google. Yeah. And I remember you were saying something about that the other day. What's happening is a lot of people who have businesses from their home, whether it's like I'm a hairdresser or I um, make greeting cards, like whatever it is, if you have an LLC registered, putting their home on blast and you have used your home address to register that LLC, 
Niantic is pulling that data and is making your house a power spot. <laughs> and so some people are having some of their stuff outed. I won't go into yeah, <laughs> details I on that. Yeah, a little bit. And I, <laughs> I, some people's God. businesses are more private than others. Yes. Um, and you can now see what they are on Pokemon Go. And some people are finding out that their neighbors have particular professions. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, it's just an interesting, like, I'd be curious to learn a little bit more about how they pull that data and why. Mm. They will have to change that because Absolutely. the fact that it's going to people's houses It's going and to people's stuff. houses, private, like, quote unquote private, private businesses. Yeah. Like, that's, that's exposing a lot. That, that, For sure. I think, that and it's, and it's attracting people to people's private property, which is like, right, you know. Right, yeah. I mean. That was kind of one of the things that, that they the tried to get away with. stops early on. In the beginning, exactly. So. That will have to be reimagined for sure. When? I don't know. Because they clearly didn't put enough thought into that when they, when they uh, Which is implemented this. crazy because you would think, it's crazy to me that they roam like they do in the first place and just jump between different it is weird. Uh, things, especially when they are, I don't know, it's, because I saw, I think I saw a little bit of discourse on that as well of like, power spots spawning at places that previously were ineligible to be Pokestops. Mm -hmm. um, but then they were saying that they're probably just thinking like, oh, well, it's temporary, so who cares? It'll it'll move in yeah. the next two days. Or yep. It's like, eh. Well, it's interesting because it's like... It's not great. My apartments are two different power spots. Sometimes it's the name of the apartment... And then sometimes it's the name of the real estate company that owns the apartment because they're both listed as businesses on Google. Mm -hmm. um, That's great. So, <laughs> I mean, there there is one at my place just really? for for the yeah for the apartment. So it it it's a it's a interesting weird system, and I'm also just like, dude, make my apartment a pokey stop, bro. I don't want it to be a power spot. Well, I don't, I don't need it to be a pokey stop. I got one right outside of my room. Well, you're lucky. I, I do not have anything. Make my place a gym because the gym right by me is just a little bit too far to nice. reach from my room. <laughs> I used to live on when I was living in, um, the actually living in the city. I, um, my apartment was on two pokey stops three pokey stops sometimes with drift. So that was really nice. Well, three pokey stops when I had my auto catcher on because uh, the auto catcher ha has a little bit of leeway there. That was really nice. I didn't like that. I was always giving the same po gifts away, but it's the same equivalent as I feel the same being here because I'm always sending out gifts <laughs> that exactly. are at the we're, office. We're spending the same like five here. Yeah. I'm spending the same one at home. Yep. And I mean, even I'm spending all the same ones on my route to and mm -hmm. from like, yep. That's why I try to. How many times have I sent out downtown transit center? Yeah. <laughs> when I try to, when I, like, I'm traveling home or something, I try to, like, send out gifts and then have my auto catcher on so I can get, like, some fresh ones mm -hmm. and then surprise people who think that I'm local. And then I'll be like, oh, wait, what? I thought, <laughs> I thought you're, I thought you're here. Like, and then be like, yep, surprise, I am. I'm just tricking you. <laughs> um, even though I don't, there nobody, nobody save, thinks about I'll that. I'll save up all my international ones from Mateo. Yes. That way no one ever keep everyone guessing. Yeah. <laughs> save my one from Finland. Um, what do we got here? Community day was pretty fun. Chris had most fun. of the luck out of the group. Um, did I? I got four total. What? Oh, it's because you stopped playing. Yes. <laughs> That's why. I literally stopped playing at one point because I was like, well... I have all the ones that I want. Yeah. Okay. I got seven. I did the party challenge stuff I needed to do. That's true. I got three. I got four. It's not like I was freeloading. No, no, no. <laughs> I got four Galarian Ponytas and three regular Ponytas. Oh, nice. But I already had two shiny yeah. regular Ponytas, so I wasn't really like, I didn't care that much about that. But so I ended up with enough. But when you compare that to like Poplio Community Day, which I got... Yeah, I got like six total. Like 19, I think. <laughs> it makes up for chance of community day. Yes. Yeah, some days I, some community days I do better than others. And it depends on where I am. It depends on like, I really need to get you guys to learn 
how to quick catch. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing better. I, yeah, I've been you've been practicing? practicing. Yep. Nice. My issue is just like sometimes like if my if my thumbnail is a little too long. Sure. And so my thumb isn't actually on the berry button. Yep. And then the ball yep. hits and I realize like, oh. And I'm it does here. just like take practice, like and especially because they changed it semi recently where you can't can't swipe over. You have to swipe up. Mm. And I was a swipe over. And so I have gotten better at swiping up, but it took time because I was so used to doing it the other way and yeah. it wasn't working and it was pissing me off, <laughs> but it saves so much time. Cause like when we're, when we're, you know, we're walking down the street and then we have to stop to catch a bunch. I'll catch those in two seconds because you know, quick catch. And like, then I'm just slackers. like, yeah. So the quick catch changes the game completely. 100 sure. percent like what what strings of it i have been able to do at times yeah. like it, it's insane and i don't have to keep my like because when i'm on the bus or whatever i like to not have to keep my eyes off of what's spawning because yep. like what if i get a shiny manky right yep get, it's like what, what is what else is spawning right now shiny like another well i have two i have a shiny wind pod and a shiny gliss pod now so i'm good oh my god lucky well that was uh, kind of cheated uh, uh jordan tricked me one. Oh, okay yep. cool um, I don't have a single one of those. Oh, I caught a dreepy last night at the apartment. <gasps> yes. I just happened to like, look, go on and he's, he's okay. He's two stars. I'll take it. Um, but I, yeah, I just logged on and I was like, what is that tiny little thing? And it was a dreepy. Oh, he's so uh, cute. Damn, I'll, I'll just have to remember to open up the game late, I guess. Cause everyone's getting them at night now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you should. I don't know why. Like, but, um. I, that was a happy surprise because I have been wanting one of those. And I was hoping to, like, um, hash one from a 10 km, but mm -hmm. that hasn't happened yet. So, I don't know. And it's not the highest level, or it's not the rarest. It's the second to rarest from a 10 km. Oh, So, let me show you. Let's see. Brand new thing would think that they would just... Larvesta is oh, yeah. still the rarest. So it is a thing. It could happen. I'm going to put these in incubators right now because I would like another one. I think I have one in the incubator. I hope I do. <laughs> do oh, my Pokemon collection's full. Okay, never mind. All right. I'll have to pay some uh, attention to that later. Yeah, my community day overall, I ended up with three Galarian and one regular, but I had caught a regular one. I actually don't know. The mic's picking me up well back there. Um and I had caught a regular one a while back. Okay, so you're fine then. So, You've yeah. got everything. So you I needed. have, yeah, I have the. I've already had a shiny rapid ash. Cool. I have shiny Ponyta now. Now I have uh, one of each of the Glarian. Which Dope. I like Galarian Ponyta, and the colors are all right on the shiny. I definitely. I think the general consensus was preferring the original colors. The original colors are better. Yeah, man. They I are. the purple is such a good purple. Mm -hmm. And it's like to get rid of that. I mean, the yellow is still a nice yellow. It's a nice pastel yellow, but the purple, you can't beat that lavender purple. It's I such a good one. I think they should have like had it just be the yellow and the purple. Yeah. Ooh, that would look good too. Yeah. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I'm, I want to collect all of the shinies, so it doesn't matter <laughs> if I like them or not, but, um, sometimes, sometimes I like having a not so successful, success, successful community day because, it means, because I don't delete any of my shinies. I know some people do. Like, if I have 19 shiny Poplios, I'm not going to delete any of them. And so that adds up to my Pokemon storage numbers. And so when I get a day that I only get seven mm -hmm. shinies on a community day, well, that's okay because I got everything I needed. And it's not that much of a burden on my overall Pokemon storage. Because I think at this point, let's check. I have... 874 shinies and I've never once deleted one because I just like don't delete shinies like even like look at all these swine ups like are you fucking kidding good me lord. good lord um and those I would like to get rid of but <laughs> I won't um and uh so yeah I I make do I do have the max, max Pokemon storage which at the moment is 8,300. <laughs> I do wish we would have an event soon so that I can 
increase that because mm. I hate one of the hardest things for me is managing that storage and like figuring out who to delete because oh same because at this point I'm getting down to the bare bones of like oh no but I actually want to keep you oh yep. no no now I'm getting into oh no not the funny numbers I want to keep the funny numbers <sighs> yep that too those I might actually consider maybe clearing out some yeah, those, of those. Yeah, those have been the first ones to go for me. Mm-hmm. Like my, my, four, my 420s and my, my 6.9s and all yeah. them. Yep. They've had to. I think for me, let's see. I usually keep, I keep CP420. So I have 71 of those. <laughs> um, 6.66, I have 50. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And then six nine, I have eighty eight. <laughs> um, so if you deleted, and then I also keep fifty seven because I like that number. Nineteen of them. Nineteen of them. Oops. And I have. Oh, I keep nine eleven too. Nine eleven. Twenty four. Not as many as that. Mm. Um. <laughs> Chris is laughing at me. <laughs> Was not prepared for that one. <laughs> I think those are the only numbers that I keep. Um, yeah, those are the only numbers. Oh, I also keep level. Oh, I started keeping quote unquote angel Pokemon because angel numbers are just any numbers that repeat. Oh. So like two, 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 one, one, one. But most of them, like 999, most of them are 666. <laughs> so that's funny. Um, but I also keep level one Pokemon. Level one evolves right. Pokemon. Yep. Pokemon that are under 100 CP. So I actually have quite a few of those. I have 32 of them. This one is one of my prized possessions. My shiny muck that is a level one. And it's level one because it's literally like... As low as it can be. Yeah. Um, so some of them aren't fully evolved, but like I got my cool costume Umbreon and Espeon level ones. Yeah. I have a lot of EV level ones. Snorlax, Choke, Jolteon. So, I yeah. wonder too, like when they're as low as like that Pig Knight that was 25, could mm-hmm. you even evolve that one and it would stay? It might. Cause so that's what happened with this muck. It was a Grimer and I evolved it and it stayed a level oh, one. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. So it might. Um, Cause this one, the Pig Knight is so low, it's 25 CP. Yeah. It just might. Um, yeah. Look, it's going to evolve into a 40. 40. I bet that would still be level one. But I would be upset if it wasn't, so yeah, I get nervous. <laughs> um, I actually, maybe I'll do that, because that one wouldn't bother me too much if it wasn't. Um, but most of those are found in the wild, which is why they're cool to yeah. me. Um, I don't know, is there anything you're looking forward to with Pokemon Go? I know there's a psychic event coming up in the next two days here. Um, yeah. I would like a shiny Zacian. Shiny Zacian would be cool. Yeah, mainly, I mean, for me, between the two dogs, I want Zamazenta. Sure. So when that one comes in. Um, nothing really that I know about that's coming up for Go that I'm looking forward to. I feel like I'd heard something about Community Days upcoming, but I don't remember what they I'm are. I'm not sure. Um, I'm looking forward to a Halloween event. I was about to say, of course, being like halfway through September now, I'm I'm very much jazzed, hyped for October spooky month. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping for some kind of like cool ghost, cool ghosty stuff. Yep. I'm already pre- <laughs> I'm already <laughs> thinking about how to do up my desk. Hell yeah. I have like I, I don't know how like specifically Halloweeny or spooky I'll be able to do it up, but like I certainly have all the Pokemon for it. Nice. <laughs> yes, you do. And with my new Miss Magius now. Very nice. So what are you missing on from that set? I'm missing the ghastly. I know it's a ghastly and a something else. Okay. I don't think I have that, like, do I? It, it's like a one. No. Uh, it's a, the last one thing that I'm missing. I forget what two Pokemon are on it, but it's ghastly and one other. Does Black Knight still have them? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got the Miss Magius just recently. All right. It was just on Friday. Maybe, I'll, well, they're closed today. If I remember... I hate, every time I want to go to that fucking store, it's closed. You, you don't remember until like six it's o'clock. It's fucking closed. It's either just closed 
or it's past the yeah. time that it closes. <laughs> um, yeah, just, I mean, the, the schedules that we keep and then, you know, them being closed half the week. <laughs> yes. And, you know, it's, which is a good thing because I really, their game room is open on Sunday. So like, dude, somebody come down and like take my money. <laughs> like, you know? The thing is, I don't know if they might've changed to have the store open while that's going Oh, maybe. On. Well, I'll have to ask them because I'm like, dude, you need to update your Google business hours if that's the case. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll maybe I'll go in and buy one of those and maybe it, maybe it'll be the one that you need because <laughs> that's the problem with blind boxes. Once you get almost all of them, the odds of you the getting the one that you need you. is so low. <laughs> but you can... Uh you can uh, sell them back to them. If, uh, Which is nice. Yeah. yeah. That's a cool perk of that store. Yeah. Um, last night on, on TikTok before bed, I was watching just like, I just searched like blind boxes <laughs> and I was just watch, like, it didn't even matter what it was. I was just watching people open them and people, yep. what people will do is buy the whole set. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. It's a dopamine hit. Oh my God. Yeah. But people buy the whole set and then like you're guaranteed to get like, for the most part, you're guaranteed to get all of them. But, there's like a one in whatever chance of you getting a secret. Oh, like a rare one and all yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. I've gotten like a couple of, oh, and I, I keep meaning to bring them in. My um, at Hot Topic, there were these one piece ones. Mm -hmm. They are called hidden dissectables. Oh, I remember you telling yes. me about that. That's and cool. It's, it's a bunch of like cute, cutesy stylized one piece characters that just half of them is a skeleton. I like that. That's cool. I wish they would do that for Pokemon. They will not do that for Pokemon. Oh, no, absolutely but. not. That's too messed up. Uh, but that would be cool. And no, I don't know if anyone... I don't know if anyone cool at Nintendo would actually want to design the internal anatomy. This is true. But that would be super cool if yes. someone wanted to do that. There would be um, a market for it. That's for sure. I'm sure there's like a like a fan line or somebody's oh, gone yeah. through and done like... Totally. A bunch of them. Um but yeah, the I had actually gotten two, two rare ones out of it: a Luffy and a Zoro that were both just fully black and white. They're called Manga Mono. Cool. Are the rares for it, which really cool that I got those two as well because there's a third rare in that set that doesn't match them at all. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a uh, Sanji character. He fights using kicks, and he also sets his leg on fire. Interesting. <laughs> and so his rare one is just an entirely translucent, like red and orange figure like flaming oh yeah. cool yeah i don't think i've ever seen one piece well there's, there's quite a bit of content there if you're yeah. ever interested yeah. in, you know a thousand plus episodes oh jeez that's the problem with the anime like 1119 was the most recent one that's crazy bro <laughs> like how many naruto episodes are there like not nearly that many wait what i thought naruto had a bunch of episodes well, okay i don't remember exactly how many episodes naruto has but I think it's with, I'm pretty sure it's within a thousand over, and that's overall between like Naruto, Shippuden, Boruto. Um, overall, anyway, none of that matters because I know for a fact canon Naruto, like uh -huh. not filler and all that, way less. Oh, piece. yeah, if you're not including filler, for sure. Because Naruto had a bunch, and apparently Boruto is like 70% filler. The anime right now, anyway. Okay, interesting. I never watched any of Boruto. I just got this article on my Google just talking about Legend ZA bringing back. A fan favorite feature. Is it Megas? Um, ride Pokemon. Um, so oh. I think probably like I think. Which. It's talking about like. Because. So, yeah, Scarlet. Because. I mean, you do that in Arceus. But I think what they're talking I about they're is talking like, about like the Gen Seven stuff. Mm. Hmm. Sounds like the player will be able to leap from one ride Pokemon to the next using button input and timing. Basically, it sounds like the system is being given an overhaul that would make swapping between ride Pokemon slightly more involved and maybe more fun as a result. Oh, oh yeah, d d this this is Legends. I'm thinking like Gen Seven style ride Pokemon, which I guess I mean it's not really. Mm -hmm. Different. It's just a different style of game. Um, they needed to tell us Ride Pokemon were coming back to the Legends game. So interesting. Like, I mean, obviously <laughs> they're coming back to the Legends game as in Legends Arceus. Um, I mean, I guess I could. These see people it. are grasping at straws to have content about Legends ZA, bro. I, I mean, it's it's an article on the internet. What are you going to do? They all. 
was it? Oh, I was going to look up Naruto episodes, but I don't care anymore. So <laughs> I got distracted. We're, we're moved on from that. Um, well, do you want to talk briefly about uh, the trading card game, and then we'll wrap up this yap sesh? Uh, oh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, so, for one, I looked it up just beforehand this episode mm-hmm. because I was curious. And in terms of their, like, releasing of sets, it's, like, uh, one every three to four. Mm. Is that what I... No, I'm, I'm... Three to four months seems like... It's definitely Too much time in between. Do, every... Every three... Every three months or four sets per year. Okay. Wow. Wait, it seems like more than that. It does. Because, um, like, we'd only fairly recently got Shrouded Fable, and then yeah. Stellar Crown just came out. Um, Interesting. Yeah. I wonder, is it, like... Like main sets, and then there's different ones within it that release. Maybe I'm not so sure. So interesting because we also have that Surging Sparks one that's going to be coming. I don't know when. But mm-hmm. Maybe it is, and time is just going by really fast. So, <laughs> like, like our senses of time must just be <laughs> god awful. <laughs> oh man, it does seem like way, way more than that. And I wonder yeah. if it's just because it's like. You'll buy some and then like I will put some time in between when I try to buy more sets. And then by that time, it's like a new set is out. one coming out. So yep. maybe it is three months. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Jeez. Christ. Just it. It feels like a lot more in a lot shorter amount of time. Yeah. Yeah, it totally does. So what do you think of the new set? Uh, I mean, I think it's all right. I think it's pretty cool. The. Um the new, like, stellar terra-type cards that are in it are really, really cool. How they have, like, the rainbow border to them and all that. I actually pulled a, uh, a Tarapagos EX and a Lapras EX. And the Lapras was a full art. It looks so beautiful. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool set. I don't really have much for the way of thoughts on it. I mean, in terms of meta, it's not like I play the game right. much and all that. In terms of, like, value, it I, there's some cool hits in the set, but I'm not... Yeah. Doing it for that. Uh, there is a Marowak and a Cubone in the set. There is a Marowak and a Cubone in the set. <laughs> um, oh, boy. They're just playing cards like there's no. Oh. I got a, I got a reverse hollow of the Marowak. Nice. But I don't cool. know if it'll come as a, I don't know if it can come as a rare. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's no like special arts mm. or anything for Marowak or anything Damn. in there. Just there. normal Marowak? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. they're in the set. I That's nice. It. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I didn't get a Cubone, though. Just. I think two total Marowaks. Well, I'm sure you'll buy more. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me that because you're right. <laughs> don't tell them that. Don't tell the viewers. They yeah, don't need I to know. know. So this is true. <laughs> They're supposed um, to think I'm not buying anything more. I need to go back to that store at the mall that has all the cards because, like, I'm not super. No, you don't. I, well, I don't. <laughs> that This is true. I don't. I want to because I want to buy some of those sets that are, like, not the new ones. Like, one, oh, like, like go back a little bit. Yeah. So like 151 or Paladin Fates or whatever. Ones that are shiny. I like Thinking about another Japanese set? That would be cool. I did spend a lot of money on that. And then I, what did I end up with? A Gravelier Master Ball card? Fucking A. Like, are you kidding me, bro? Um, That was expensive. (laughs) Um, I will say, they are, and they've still seen some of them in there. I've still been tempted to... Uh, pick up some Pokemon Go cards. Just oh, like, okay. I mean, it's kind of just like like the Halloween ones you saw where the yeah. pumpkin is. It's just, it's Go. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's its own set. But those ones are kind of cool too, though. Yeah, I'd be tempted. I'd be tempted of anything just because I would really hope to get one of those uh, fake reverse hollows. That's a ditto. Oh. Yeah. So they're like these, um, I even watched one get pulled. You'll get like a reverse hollow n- uh, Nummel, but it looks like, it doesn't look shiny. So you can actually peel off the Yo. front of it, and it's a, it's a, I think it's a hollow like a rare ditto. Oh, that is so yeah. cool! Ooh, I don't know if I would have if I had pulled one of those. I don't know if I would have known about that, which kind of freaks me out because I have, <laughs> I have gotten well, Pokemon Go. Sets. It's like noticeably not as shiny as a regular okay. reverse hollow. Interesting. So yeah, um, that's dope. Yeah, the, the only one I would worry about not being able to tell is if it was like a dark type reverse hollow because those reverse hollows already are like, uh, okay. Yeah. Is it like this thing here? This? Yes. That's cool. Well, man, now I'm tempted to go to the fucking mall. 
Save it for like when we hang out sometime. Yeah, that's we got to do that. That's a good point. Yeah. All right, my friend. Well, I am a good yap. This has been a good yap sesh, and now I like want to go home and play Pokemon. <laughs> so we, we have things to think about, things we want to do. Yes. Um, and then we'll, you know, we got all sorts of stuff coming up and uh, more movie reviews. Um, maybe we can figure out a setup to show you guys us playing Pokemon Unite or some That'd of our really other fun. games. We should, we'll talk more about that because that is. models to build. We have models to build. I still have a Gyarados and an Arceus to build. I haven't built either of oh, those yet. Oh, you haven't yet. built the Arceus? Nope. Um, that one Jordan might build though. Like I know <laughs> he gets all excited when I come home with stuff that he can put <laughs> together because he likes doing that. Um, like those little like nano block things. I have not put one of those together myself. Uh, okay. So I, I, I always assumed it was a thing of like, okay, now here, can you please? No, it's, it's a, he's fiending after something. To, oh okay, yeah. I oh you. yeah. It's like a, I'm just going to do this anyway. Totally relatable. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Absolutely feel that. Um, we have a, he built a Kyogre and a Groudon. We have a Rayquaza that he hasn't built yet. I have the Rayquaza. Nice. He bought the. He like literally went on and purchased them himself, like oh, on the internet, <laughs> like, <laughs> which is hilarious. Um, awesome. So we've got some model kits to build, and I did buy some more equipment to try to do 3D cards. So I'm gonna play around with that, and that would be cool to talk and, about and, and you know show what? Like, and. If you if you need more dupes of something, depending on what, like, let me know. That's a good point. Yep. It's the the hardest part was going through all my shit and finding like what you had enough dupes for, <laughs> and then just being like, "This is like," which I'm sure it's mostly like the commons. And- oh yeah, which is fine because it's like for however many I make in the beginning, it's gonna be trial runs, trial and error. I'm gonna oh, fuck yeah. up. Like it's not gonna be great. So. If they're common, that's actually a good thing. So, but yeah, we got all sorts of stuff coming up and, um, we'll keep you, we'll keep you in the loop. Um, I don't know. We'll probably, we'll probably do another movie review soon because I'm excited about a third movie, Yeah. but we might do a normal yap sesh in between there. We'll see, we'll see what happens in Pokemon news. We got the big one Oh next time. Oh my God. Yeah. Episode 10. Okay. Ten so we'll need to do something special next time then. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll build our models or something. We'll do another uh, video episode perhaps. Cool. Well, I'm excited for it. And um, in the meantime, keep playing Pokemon. Keep spending money on Pokemon. <laughs> Actually, don't. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Be good. <laughs> Be good to yourself. Yeah, be good to yourself and your wallet. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in to episode nine of Team Yap, the Pokemon podcast. I have been your host, Emily Brewer. I have been your host, Chris Lavalette. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. <laughs>